Hello, my most amazing artists. So, today we are going to work on drawing self-portraits. I imagine that many of you have drawn self-portraits before, but I just wanted to kind of go over the way we can draw faces, um, how to divide the head up so that things look a little more natural, and also, one nice thing about drawing self-portraits is a great way to practice drawing people so that you can start designing characters. Um, maybe if you like to make comics or tell stories, um, you can draw the people in your comics, in your stories, um, by knowing how to draw a portrait. So all you're going to need today is a pencil and an eraser. It's optional if you want to go back in and color this later. You can always do that. I can also show you how to outline with marker to make it look a little more finished. But to begin with, we're just going to draw a basic self-portrait using a pencil. So first of all, you want to have your paper in portrait mode, not landscape. Portrait, if you notice, I have the video in portrait mode too. That's vertical, long ways, as opposed to wide. So you will take your paper and you can look in a mirror or you can just do this from your imagination. I'm going to do mine from my imagination today because I've done lots of self-portraits. Um... But you can use a mirror, and next year in school, we'll be doing self-portraits and using some mirrors that I have so that we can see ourselves a little bit better. So, first of all, when you're drawing a portrait, we want to draw our head. Now, we want to fill the whole page, so we don't want to do a tiny little circle. We want to fill the page, so we're going to draw our head. My face is more of an oval shape. Yours might be more round. So, I'm going to draw lightly, not pressing down hard. And then I'm going to draw my neck and the top of my shoulders. This is how most portraits are drawn. It's showing the top of your shoulders and your head. And you might want to leave a little more space for your hair. Um, I'm going to draw my hair down. My hair is long and straight, so I'll draw it down so it won't take up much space. But if you have curly hair or really cool, interesting hairdo, you might want to leave more space for your head or use a bigger piece of paper. So, first of all, I'm going to loosely outline my hair. Like I said, my hair is long and straight, and if I'm wearing it down, I usually part it on the side, somewhere over here. So I'll draw my hair, maybe something like that. And I'm not putting all the details in right now. Now, my face doesn't just come right all the way up to the top of my head, right? So my hair comes across a little bit, maybe like this. Now, when we're drawing our face, everybody's face is different, of course, but there are some general rules of thumb. A rule of thumb is just like a guideline that you can follow. So your eyes aren't down here on your face. That looks pretty silly, right? Of course, you could always draw a character with a face like that if you like it. And my eyes aren't up here at the top of my head. That kind of makes me look silly too, right? So, my eyes are not right in the middle of my head either. They're usually just above the middle. So, the first thing I like to do when I'm drawing my face is draw a light line in the middle here. Because I know that my eyes are just above that. So, I'm going to draw just a circle just very lightly to kind of show me where my eyes are going to be. Now your nose, the bottom of your nose is about the same amount of space below the middle as your eyes. So the bottom of my nose is gonna be somewhere about here. And I'm just gonna draw a little line just to show the bottom of my nose. And I can even draw a line like that. Now, see I've drawn the second half of my face is also in half now. So you think maybe my eyebrows, if I draw a line here. So now I've decided, divided my head into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Forehead, there's maybe my eyebrows are here. Middle, nose, and then what do you think maybe my mouth is about halfway down below this? 
So that looks pretty accurate, right? Of course, it doesn't look like me yet because I haven't added all the details, but this is kind of how you can draw a face. Drawing a circle or an oval, dividing it in half, dividing that half in half and this half. Our eyes, so here we go, I'll even do this. Forehead, eyes, nose, mouth. So these are the different zones. And what makes you, you, is that your eyes, your eyebrows, your nose, and your mouth may be in a slightly different place within these zones. But your eyes aren't going to be in the bottom zone, right? Your nose isn't going to be in the top zone. So when you're looking in the mirror, you can look and see where your eyes are in this zone. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to start with my eyes because I think those are the most interesting part of the face. And our eyes are not perfectly round. They're shaped kind of like footballs. And everybody's are going to be a little bit different. Some people's eyes may be a little more round. Some people's eyes may be a little more skinny. Some people may have two different eyes. So there's my eyes. And I'm just going to make sure that my eyes are on the same line here. And then we have in our eyes, we have our, our iris. The iris is the part of the eye that is colored. So those are round. And then in the center of our iris is our pupil. The pupil is that black thing. It's like a hole into the eye that we see through. It's like the front of a camera. Now this looks kind of creepy because it's just staring straight forward, right? But don't worry, we'll fix that later. Now, the eyebrows, my eyebrows are kind of have a little bit of an arch shape like this and they're a little bit bigger on the inside so look at your eyebrows in the mirror are they straight across are they more arch shaped are they big all the way across do they come in more toward the middle some people do and then your nose look at your nose so your nose might be sort of a triangle shape overall. Your nose may be a little more round at the bottom. It may be more pointy. Just look at the shape of your nose and see, is it like a rectangle? Is it like a triangle? Is it like an oval? Mine is kind of round on the bottom. And I have the two nostrils. So there is my nose. Kind of looks like that. And it has, the bridge goes kind of up like this. So then my mouth. My mouth is usually smiling. My bottom lip, your bottom lip is usually bigger than your top lip, but not always. Some people have really nice lips that are shaped in many different ways. We all have really nice lips that are shaped in many different ways, I should say. Mine's shaped kind of like this. Our top lip sometimes has a little V shape in the top. Did you notice there's a little dip under your nose? You can even put your finger up and feel it. So, there's your mouth, my mouth. Now, now that I've got these basic shaped of my face here, I'm going to look at the shape of my cheeks. Are my cheeks round? My cheeks kind of go in a little bit like this. Yours might be a little bit more round. And my chin, some people have a square chin, some people have a pointy chin, some people have a flat chin, some people have what's called a cleft, which is a little dimple. My chin is kind of rounded like this. Okay, now, I have dimples in my cheeks, so I'm just going to make the little dots there. Now, if you look in the mirror, you'll notice that you have eyelids, so your eyes aren't just wide open like this. They have like a little line over them of your eyelid, or maybe you can't really see your eyelid, but your eyes look a little more closed. I'll show you. 
And how you do the eyes determines what your facial expression looks like. If I want to make myself look a little more tired, see now I look like a little more tired and calm. I actually kind of like that because it makes me look a little less intense. So now I have eyelashes. So instead of doing big spiky things like this, you know, sometimes we do that and we forget that we can make things look a little more natural. You can make, you look at your eyelashes and see what shape they are. Mine go over to the side, sort of like that. So look in your mirror or your selfie mode on your phone or your mom's phone and look at your eyelids. Now, I sometimes like to use eyeliner and make a little cat eye line so I can draw that on my eye. And now, got to think about my ears. Your ears are in the same zone as your eyes. So I'm going to just draw a little shape just to show my ears. My hair is over it. Now, I've drawn myself. I've got a little line here for my cheek. I mean, <laughs> my chin. Now, I wear glasses, but now that I've drawn my general um, self-portrait, I can start to add my details. Do you have freckles? In the summer, I sometimes have a few freckles, but I have glasses. So I'm going to draw, first I'm going to draw the bridge of my glasses here, right in the middle, and then very lightly, I'm going to draw the oval shape of my glasses and when I feel like that looks right I'll go over it a little more and mine are cat eye glasses so they have this point at the corner notice I'm using light pencil lines I'm not drawing hard and heavy so and I can make myself smiling a little bit more I can make any facial expression that I want. So, now that I've drawn a portrait, you have so many options of what to do next. I'm trying to find my black marker so that I can outline. You can use a marker, a crayon, anything you want and start to go over the outline. very carefully. I can't wait to see your self-portraits and we'll be doing more self-portrait stuff together next year too. I'm really excited to get started on that. But I'm just carefully outlining everything that I drew. Outlining the good lines because you know some of the lines are lines that I might want to erase later. And I think because I'm drawing an angle that maybe I made my eyes look a little funny, but that's okay. Draw my eyelashes. Draw my eyebrows. I use my marker to kind of capture the eyebrow hairs instead of one big solid line. And my dimples. Oh, can't forget my ears. Yeah, I think I made my eyes look a little bit silly, but that's okay. Because I'm drawing it at this angle and it's hard for me to tell. But you get the main idea, right? 
And remember, you're going to draw. I'm going to use a different color to outline the zones. When you draw your oval, first you'll divide it in half. And then you'll divide the bottom in half. You'll divide the top in half. The top half is your forehead. This half is your eyes, nose, and mouth. There you go. So, you can draw your portrait using a mirror and looking and seeing where each part of your face falls within these sections. But I hope that you are all having a good time. I look forward to seeing your wonderful work and I will talk to you next time. Stay creative.